All right, now the gravy is ready. You can see that it's gotten thicker. I didn't make it real thick. I just want it to, to be a nice gravy for the top of our roast. Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Color Valley Cooks. I got up with a migraine this morning and I'm not feeling very good. So we're gonna slow roast a rump roast today in my oven. The first thing I'm gonna do is take it out of the package, put it on my cutting board and season it and flour it so we can get it ready to sear. I like to sear them even if I'm roasting them to keep the juices in. This one's got a nice piece of fat on the bottom, that's good. Now for the seasoning, all I'm gonna use is a steak and chop. Coating it, okay. So now what we're gonna do is put flour all over it and we're gonna sear it. This has got a slit in it already. See that? So um, let me go rinse my hands. Okay. Since it's already got a slit in it, I'm gonna go ahead and stick my garlic on the inside of it before I sear it. You can just press the garlic and usually it, the peeling comes off a lot easier if you do that. Uh, but I typically just use a knife and get it off. And when we cook this, it's going to cook with fat side up so that the juices uh, go down in the meat. Okay, let me get these edges a little bit better. It's a nice piece of fat on the end, so I'm going to score it too. Okay, so let's just put the garlic down in the little score places. If it falls out when I'm browning it, then I'll just have to replace it. Maybe it won't. And I'm gonna cook this at 200 degrees. So I'm gonna put roast 200, cause anytime you go over 250, it can make them a little tougher. So I'm gonna hit start. And then we're gonna turn on this brazier so that we can brown our roast right quick and yet get it hot on our meat. This is a big piece of meat to have to flip. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this. Uh, but that was the fat side. This is my brand new roasting pan. Um, I had it on my wish list and someone sent it to me and it was very sweet. And I believe it was Amy, so thank you Amy. It's coming in handy on a day when I don't feel good. So we're going to take um, a couple of cups of water and I'm actually going to put Dale's seasoning in the water um, and I'm going to put a good bit because I like it, okay? And I know we got a roast and I don't really have to do this, but it'll just make it taste even better. I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons in here and mix it up. And we're going to pour it down in the bottom of the roasting pan. I'm also going to use just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And I'm just going to sprinkle some in there. So, um, even if I'm not feeling good, this is something I had to do today because I have two roasts that need to be cooked. The nice thing about cooking a roast this way is that I can walk off and leave it and rest while it's cooking and it will feed us for several days. Okay, we have rotated this roast and the only thing left is these little two sides right here. So I'm just using a couple of spoons and rotating it uh, around on the pan.
as it sears. I may have to hold that one up for a minute to get a good sear. But I've got a good grip on it using these two large spoons. Now we're just gonna add some onion and we're gonna put it in the oven. It's that simple. And this is just a uh, yellow onion. It's not a sweet onion, it's not a Vidalia onion, it's just the uh, yellow onion. sweet basil that I'm going to put down in here and I also got some rosemary so we're going to put a little rosemary down in there smells good okay and place it in your oven and then later on today, we'll have a nice roast and it's easy, I can go relax. We're gonna check on our roast. It's been in the oven a couple of hours. It's on roast setting. There's still plenty of juice in the pan. And I think at this point, I may insert a thermometer in it to keep up with the temperature. All right, we're gonna set up our thermometer and insert it. I'm gonna put it on beef. Beef says um, we got it. We have to select the doneness, so let's do that. Let's do medium. So it needs to be about 160 degrees. And right now, of course, the thermometer's not in there, so it says it's 74. So we're going to open this up and insert it now and see if we can't get a temperature. It's been in here about three hours. Keep a temperature going for us. Right now it's at 109. So we've got a while to go. It's been in there three hours. Right now the temperature gauge says it's 128 degrees. I just turned the oven up to 275 degrees and I put three sweet potatoes in the oven with our roast so we could have a sweet potato. I think it's going to take another hour, maybe an hour and a half. The roast, when it gets done, we got to wrap it up and let it sit for a while so it won't be long and we'll have a delicious roast beef slice. Okay, this roast is done. We're going to wrap it in some foil and let it sit for 20 minutes, then we're going to carve it and have some dinner. in while it rests for 20 minutes and then we're going to carve it and eat. Okay, we're going to take the drippings from our roast. Let me get this middle part up. And it's really rich. I can tell by smelling it. So we're going to take this, the drippings off the roast. And we're going to add them into our brazier. I just happen to have it handy. And I'm going to thicken it a little with a little bit of uh, milk and starch. Not a lot, but just a little. One. Two. Tablespoons of starch. And then I'm going to put about a cup of milk in here. I should have used that uh, whole milk. Mm -hmm. I did. 
didn't. There's me. Okay. Let's break up the onions in it. We just need to heat it up. It'll thicken. All right, now the gravy is ready. You can see that it's gotten thicker. I didn't make it real thick. I just want it to, to be a nice gravy for the top of our roast. And I really want it kind of thin, actually, instead of thick. So it's ready, and I'm going to turn it off, and it'll be here when our roast is carved. All right, we're ready to slice this up. we wanted it medium. It's still a little pink. So, so we're going to plate it right quick. Let's go put some gravy on it. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks. Love y'all. Bye.